Have you ever seen one of those short videos on Instagram or TikTok where they show a sewing tool and it looks life-changing? But then again, you are thinking, hmm, is it really worth the money? Well, today we are going to test the viral sewing tools and I'm going to tell you if they are worth the hype. And these better be worth the money because I really, really hate wasting my money. Okay, so let's see what I've got. Okay, okay, so let's first test this tool. So this first tool that we will see is the Desk Needle Threader by Clover. This is actually one of the very first really viral sewing tools that I've seen on, I think, Instagram. And I was very curious to see how it works. So it's supposed to work very simply. You put the needle in, you put the thread and lower the handle. So let's just quickly unpack it. Okay, so it has the needle slot right here. So let's take the needle. How it will know where to put it? Okay, let's just hope for the best. I put the needle in its slot and then we have thread slot. Okay, okay, where it See the th the needle, the thread, and then what I'm supposed to do next is lower and then the release, I guess. <gasps> oh, it worked! <gasps> it actually worked. See, this was very actually easy. So this works, and it actually worked really well. You didn't even have to like rotate the needle to a certain angle. I really like that. The only thing is the price is, as I mentioned, a little bit steep. But if you have like issues with threading the hand sewing needle, well, this little tool will work. Okay, so it's time to take our second tool, which is the bracelet. By the way, I will link all of these tools in the description box. I got them all off Amazon, so it looks like this. I have like protecting film over here. And what this little tool does, you're just supposed to do like, oh, like this, and it's magnetic. So let's take a few pins. Here are my pins. And let's see how well that magnet works. I don't know what I was expecting. It's a magnet. It works. Yeah, of course it does. So I kind of like it. The pins are staying quite good, even though there are several, several layers of them. So it, yeah, you see, it works, right? Okay. So one thing that I saw this used as is like this. You just spray all these metal pins and then do this and it gathers everything onto the bracelet. I actually think it's kind of nice tool. I think it's nice. I think it works. I think it's good. I don't usually use those pink cushions on my wrist, but this one I like. It, it looks nice. It's very easy to put on. It adjusts to any size. Really easy to put on. One thing about me though, I have a big cat at home and I have a very active toddler at home. So I'm very, very careful about my pins and I make sure that I never lose any pins on the ground because I have like anxiety that one of them will step onto the pin. So I always try to keep them very, very neatly stored in this box. And then in, in this box, so the function that to throw all the pins around and just use it magnet is not for me, but to use it as a pincushion bracelet, why not? Give me just a second to refresh. By the way, my favorite summer beverage, ice, tonic water, and shot of espresso. Really refreshing. So this next tool that I have is a set of different loop turners. Okay, how do I open it? How do I open it? Do I need scissors? I do need scissors. Oh no, it's actually opens in the... Okay. Okay, yeah, it, it securely opens in the bottom and then closes again. So these went viral several times. Different modules of these, I would say, went viral at different times. So I actually wanted to test them out because what I am using currently to loop 
uh, to turn the loops or to draw strings is very unsophisticated tool. Let me show you. So what I'm currently using is a very, very unsophisticated tool, which is this very long screwdriver. So I thought, why not get one of these viral loop turners uh, and see how it actually works. Now the thing is, and what I actually loved is that they came in a set of six different thingies for the price of like seven euros. So something like seven dollars. So okay, let's try one of the tools that comes in this set and we will try this little threader. So first I will just take one old sweater that I have and I will take this thread out. I hope this works because otherwise I don't know how I will, I will get that string back into its place. So I'm really trusting this, uh, this little thing works. Okay, so first we will loosen this part right here and then I suppose we are going to open it up like this and then so we are going to put it through like this and then we are going to tighten this very much so this stays in place and now we are going to put it through through this hole right here through this tunnel it's working i can't believe it is works okay i have like this a bit uh panic when i first saw this tool online because I had similar tools, but they didn't really work because they didn't lock the strap well enough and it would slide off. But it seems that this one is doing quite a fine job because the string itself is rather thick, so it's not that easy to pull through. And the fabric is also very thick, so it's not easy to pull through, but it worked. Ha, huh, it worked other first try so it did work it worked actually great way better than i expect the set that i got came with a few additional items like you have a drawstring threader you have loop turner for two loop turners you have this other tool right here and you have a different kind of uh, drawstring threader for the price of six maybe seven euros that i paid you get total six tools and i think that this is a very good deal because you will be able to thread the drawstrings and you will be able to th um, turn the loops in so i do believe that it's a very good price by the way fun fact i spent 10 years as a purchaser for major retail stores. So I know a thing or two about getting a good deal and I think that this one is a good deal. Next tool, I am very skeptic about it. I put it into the cart and took it out like five times because I really don't think it works as good as we hope and it's this seam roller. So how to use it? It's if you have like a very short seam, like. A short seam you just roll it like this and it's supposed to open it and press it and work instead of the press I don't well this one is already ironed so let's try with the bias tape uh, this is my do-it-yourself made bias tape so I simply pressed it so it should have no issues with pressing it open right again because it's not manufacturedly pressed so let's go ahead <laughs> it's not doing anything maybe on a shorter seam and i will show you how it looks because so far it's not giving what it's supposed to be doing it was like eight dollars i hope i didn't waste eight dollars on this okay so this next tool this one this one will work i guarantee you because i have a very similar tool so this is the buttonhole cutter but what i love about it is that it comes with this 
teeny tiny cutting mat and it's the most adorable thing ever because I don't have a large cutting mat so when I only had the buttonhole cutter I didn't know where to use it so essentially I won't show you how to do it because I don't have a buttonhole or maybe I can show you on a piece of fabric so essentially how you use it you simply if, when you have a buttonhole right made you put this little cutter underneath it and then you take this cutter and very easily cut the hole. Look how cleanly cut this hole is. And it's so simple and so easy to make. I really, really recommend you. I need to find out what this tool is for. I haven't used this one yet, but the really small cutting mat with the cutter, true winner. Out of all the sewing tools that we've seen so far today, this one is definitely my favorite one and I will be using this one really a lot because I do work with buttonholes and I struggle with cutting them and having this little cute uh, cutting mat will make it so much faster, easier. And of course I say the best for less. So the last tool that I got is the cordless electric scissors. Isn't it ironic that you need scissors to open a pack of scissors? Like it's hilarious. Okay, so essentially these are nothing new. These have been around, but the thing is, the thing is, I never thought to buy them because I already have very good scissors. I have these scissors, these are Kai scissors that I've been using for like three years. They're good as new. And so I never had any need for new scissors, but I saw one of my favorite Instagram creators, Ketivani, I think she's pronounced like that. She has these exact same Kai scissors and she's using electric scissors. So she is using electric scissors for more cutting and when she needs precision, she's whipping those Kai scissors. So I thought, hmm, that's a good idea. Let's unpack and see what comes. I need scissors again. Everything you've seen today, I am testing for the first time on camera. This is why nothing is open yet. So these are actually, these scissors were not as expensive as you're probably thinking because I paid 40 euros, something like that. And they come with a charger, they come with two blades. Let's take them out. So these scissors look like this. They, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid of using things like that. Okay, we take off the safety guard. That is very fast. Listen, I have a few things to test this one. I recently hemmed a pair of jeans, so I have these cutoffs left. And let's see how these electric scissors are cutting very thick denim, okay? So, so the, here we are going to cut through one layer of denim. Why am I so afraid to do this? Okay, it's cutting, it's definitely... And it's stuck. Ah, it's stuck, I'm not putting my hand there. I'm not putting my hand there. It's stuck. Oh, try another spot. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. How am I supposed to hold the fabric? Because, oh, I'm not holding it like, oh, I'm not, I don't, uh, am I the only one who's panically afraid of these? I stuck again. It's not giving what it's supposed to be giving. I honestly feel like the problem is in me. Try on different fabric. Maybe I will get better luck this time. Why does it work so good for other people? It doesn't work for me that well. Why does the fabric keep sucking? You know what, I need to probably watch like tutorial on this. Let me watch a tutorial and I will get back. So okay, I watched the tutorial and what I think I'm doing wrong is I have to lay this part on the ground on the table. Very loud. I 
don't know why, but I'm not getting very good results. You know what? Let's try it not on fabric, but let's try it on a piece of paper. Okay, okay now, now I'm getting the high. Okay, on piece of paper, it does work way, way better. I actually understand the hype. And you can like cut very fast, that's good. For some reason, I'm not getting a lot of luck with fabric. Let me try ASOS jeans again. Ah, I think I'm getting it. Yes, finally. I like hate having a thing and not knowing how to use it properly. That's my pet peeve. So, uh, so this is actually bringing me a lot of joy finding out how to use it. I'm so proud of myself right now for some reason. Yeah, so it does cut fabric. It does cut fabric fast and very easily, even through multiple layers, like here when I have this thick denim hem. Okay, so now that I figured how it works, I'm actually quite uh, interested to see how it works and test it on different fabrics. So far, it looks promising because again the price is 40 euros i think it's kind of a good deal because it's electric scissors and for even standard sewing scissors you can pay much more <laughs> than that uh, so 40 euros doesn't sound that much compared to like good quality fabric scissors so yeah i will definitely keep trying this so far when i got it to work it cut really well and very easily and very fast so i am excited about this tool so these are all the viral sewing tools that i bought and tried and tested and i am actually very surprised that these worked way better than i expected so if you have seen another viral tool that you would like me to test leave it in the comments and hit the like button if you enjoyed this review and i will see you next time bye